When Albert Einstein died in 1955, his brain didn't stay with his body. It was secretly stolen during the autopsy. On April 18, 1955, Einstein died at Princeton Hospital in New Jersey. The pathologist on duty, Dr. Tarma Stoltz Harvey, performed the autopsy. But without the family's permission, he removed Einstein's brain, hoping to study the source of his genius. He preserved it in formaldehyde and later cut it into 240 pieces, photographing and measuring each section. When Einstein's son found out, he was furious, yet Harvey convinced him to let scientists study it in the name of science. Over the years, Harvey carried the brain in jars from Kansas to California, showing it to researchers and journalists. Some studies later claimed Einstein's brain had more glial cells in regions linked to mathematical reasoning, but experts still debate what that really means. Dr. Harvey lost his medical license and lived quietly for decades. When he died in 2007, the brain was still divided in labs across America. A genius's mind, scattered quite literally, in the pursuit of understanding genius itself.